My name is Carolyn Pampino and I'm a member of the leadership team for the IBM Rational Workbench for Collaborative Lifecycle Management. And today's demonstration is about linking and populating plans using the workbench. This first demonstration will show how we start with a collection of requirements in Rational Doors Requirements Professional and link that collection to a development plan in Rational Team Concert and then populate the development plan with work items that have links back to the collection. The demonstration begins in Rational Doors Requirements Professional and we've already begun elaborating our requirements. In addition, we've created a collection of requirements that we're going to target for the release. Click on the collection to open it. And here we see the list of requirements that we're targeting for the first release of our project. Our next challenge is to communicate this collection of requirements to our development team. To do that, we click on the links section. Here we see we already have a link created to the development backlog, and we also have a link that's been created to our test plan. Let's show you how you create these links to the development team. You click on the new link for artifact, and off of that menu, choose to link to development plan. Choosing this menu brings up a dialog that searches Rational Team Concert for the list of available plans. You select the plan that you're interested in linking to and click OK. Once you've clicked OK, you've established the link between your collection and the release backlog in Rational Team Concert. So now let's see what happens from the Rational Team Concert side. We go to Rational Team Concert and here you see the release backlog that the development team is working with. And now we want to get work items on our backlog that correspond to the requirements in Requirements Professional. We click on the Add Existing Work Item button and choose Work Items from Requirements. This brings up a dialog that allows me to search through Rational Doors Requirements Professional. And here's the collection that's linked to my release. I choose OK and now I'm presented with the list of available requirements in that collection. Since this is the beginning, we'll add them all and click OK. Clicking OK at this point brings up a dialog for creating the work items in Team Concert. And this allows me to set attributes on these work items. So let's set them all to high. At this point, you have a choice. You can apply these changes to all of the work items that you're about to create. Or you could cycle through and set attributes on each of the work items that you create. So let's apply to all. When the wizard completes, you have a release plan with work items. And each of the work items has a link to a requirement back in Doors Requirements Professional. You can hover over the link in the requirement and you get information about the requirement at the other end of the link. If we come back, you can now add a column where you want to see which of my requirements are implemented by development work items. When I add this column, I can instantly see that all of the requirements in my collection have links to corresponding work items in Rational Team Concert. Next, let's follow a similar path for aligning our requirements with our test cases in Rational Quality Manager. We open the links section on our requirements collection, and this time we'll create a validated by link. To do so, you click the new link for artifact menu and choose link to test plan. A dialog appears, and this time you can link to test plans that exist in Rational Quality Manager. Here you see we are, have already created our test plan. Alternatively, you could create a new test plan simply by clicking the Create New Radio button, providing a name and choosing OK. Here we see our test plan linked to our collection in Rational Doors Requirements Professional. So let's go over to Rational Quality Manager and see the perspective from the testers. This is Rational Quality Manager and we're viewing the available test plans. This is the test plan that we have linked to our collection. We open the test plan. We can click on the requirements collection links and here we see the requirement collection over in Rational Doors Requirements Professional. The next thing we want to do is to create test cases for each of the requirements in this collection. To do so, we choose the collection and click on the button to create test cases from requirements. When you click this button, Rational Quality Manager cycles through all of the requirements in the collection and creates corresponding test cases. When you click on the test case section in the table of contents, you can see that all of the test cases have been created 
When we click on one of these test cases and click on the Requirements Links section, you see the test case is automatically linked to the corresponding requirement. If we come back to DOORS Requirements Professional, the Requirements Analyst can confirm these links by choosing the Validated by column on the collection. Here you get an instant traceability view in which of my requirements are linked to development work items and which requirements are now linked to test cases. In this last demonstration, we'll show how testers and developers can align their plans. This is Rational Quality Manager and I have a test plan open. I click on the Development Plan Links section in the Table of Contents and currently there are no links to development plans. To create a link, click the Add New Links button and a dialog appears allowing the tester to search Rational Team Concert to see the available development plans. I select Release Backlog and click OK. The link to the release backlog in Rational Team Concert is established on my test plan. This finishes the three-way loop between requirements, development, and testers. For the IBM Rational Workbench for collaborative lifecycle management, development and test teams can quickly populate their plans from the same set of requirements. This concludes our demo. Thank you for joining us today, and please come and join the action at jazz.net.